Hello everyone, myself Sushmita Nanda, from working in the Skill Development Institute of Munishur as a process instrumentation trainer. So here I am, uh, here I am introducing uh, the process instrumentation course. Let's have an overview over that. Before going to the process instrumentation course, the Siemens COE is providing smart manufacturing process. So what is a smart manufacturing process? When uh, a customer uh, is uh, expecting a good or expecting a product and that product is going to deliver in the market according to the uh, customer satisfaction and uh, customer's reliability, so various factors are there, then that a product has to be go through various processes. Like it has to go from virtual product to a real product. In a virtual product, first we are designing or we are analyzing a product uh, uh, design, then it uh, the ideal delivery is that when it is coming to the market with a real uh, a real scenario. So in that smart manufacturing process, we are having various functions, like uh, various labs are there, various functions are there. First is, the product is first to be designed and validated, so which is uh, carried upon in product design and validation function or lab. Next, that design, it has to go through a test and optimization process, which is done under a function called as test and optimization lab or function. Next, it has to go to the advanced manufacturing lab. The advanced manufacturing lab, uh, it uh, gives the output to the CNC, where we are going to, uh, the design it is cutting down and it is bring out to a shape. Then uh, we are having a robotics lab, the Siemens. From C uh, robotics lab, uh, there is a collaboration between the robotics and CNC controller and machining lab. Last, we are having, next is the IoT lab. IoT lab, it is acting as a backbone or it is acting as a support to most of the labs under the Siemens which are having controller. So it is continuously monitoring or continuously taking the data from the controller. The, uh, the labs or the function which are having a controller, from that we are taking the data. And uh, by uh, continuous monitoring and analysis, we can store the data just like from the CNC, robotics uh, or uh, your test and optimization lab. We uh, within uh, after the uh, with this function, we are having another lab called as PI lab, where I am uh, having uh, acting as a trainer. In the process instrumentation lab, uh, it is a uh, real backbone for any type of industry. That industry can be a oil refinery industry, food beverages industry, or petroleum any type of industry. So, in, what is the utility of process instrumentation industry? A process instrumentation, for, uh, which is uh, we are giving the course here. Let's start. The importance of the course when uh, uh, working with a heavy and dangerous equipment, getting accurate measurements can be very difficult to us. So therefore, instrumentation is very important. Because of the number of process involved in modern machines, accurate uh, instrumentation is needed to ensure that everything is operating properly. So what is the instrumentation? Since uh, this is a course of process instrumentation, let's be uh, very clear what, what is uh, instrumentation and what is process. Instrumentation is a branch of engineering in which measure, indicate, record and control process variable is carried upon. What are the process variable? The value of the process that can be measured, monitored and controlled and record is called process variable. And the, uh, whatever the variables are there, in, uh, the variables are nothing but it is called as a parameters, which are used in the, which are uh, calculated or which we are uh, finding out in the industries, uh, industry pr process. Like uh, the var uh, variables are pressure, flow, level and temperature. The participants generally in a PI course, has, uh, they are going to be trained uh, on basics, parameter, parameterization and commissioning of devices. These labs are generally based on latest products, technology, configuration, which are used in the industries like first oil and gas industry, water and wastewater industry, pharma industry, chemical industries, food and beverages industry, which gives opportunity to practice, simulate operations and failures and possibly a large variety of process plans which develops interest. The course is generally uh, uh, is, uh, given uh, or the target audiences uh, who can uh, do this course 
are generally diploma and BTEC uh, students under the branch of instrumentation, electrical, electronics or mechanical equivalent. The objective of the course is, this course teaches participants the basic principles of process instrumentation, control in process industry and the regulation of aspects of the process. Precise control of all label, tem label temperature, pressure and flow is important in the process application. This model introduced to control in process industries explains why control is important and identifies different ways in which precise control is ensured. Working with the PI product portfolio, students can gain an understanding of common variable measurement applications. Let's see, what does an instrumentation engineering engineer do? The required tasks are very domain dependent. Uh, the instrumentation engineers typically work for industries with uh, automated process with a goal of improving the, the factors like first is productivity, reliability, safety, optimization and stability. So instrumentation engineers are commonly responsible for integrating the sensors with the recorders, transmitters, display or control systems. They may design or uh, specify installation, wiring and signal conditioning also. They may be responsible for calibration, testing, configuration and maintenance of the system. So these are the things which are carried on, which are done in the industry and these basic things are provided in this course. course. So the course curriculum, it is designed in the manner like this lab has unique uh, scalable architecture with powerful engineering tools and a wide variety of additional functions such as alarm management, process safety and asset ma uh, management. Generally in the industry, if some hazards are uh, going to happen, so before to that, uh, there is a set of uh, rules or set of things through which we can stop the hazards that are generally carried upon by the alarm management and here in this also we can check or we can see how that alarm management is possible or we can do the alarm management with the software. By the end of the course, students will be able to know about the general function, health and safety practices at the workplace or at the industry, introduction to the process instrumentation, different process variables variables may be pressure, temperature, flow level, the various sensors or transmitters or transducers used for the uh, process variable, then controllers, control valves and regulators. Here uh, in the lab, it is, uh, we are given with citrine filled instruments, that is a rack which consists of various transmitters uh, for giving a uh, pressure, uh, temperature, flow and level measurements and we can calibrate or we can al analyze the data from that. We are given with the DCS, that is a controller, and the, it is uh, with that, we are giving, uh, with that, it is given with the PCS7. A software is given that is Semantic Manager Step 7, through which the analysis is done, and the, the PDM is given. From where we can find out the devices, any type of devices, generally, the various devices which are connected in the field through a network. They are assigning, they are going through a protocols or network and that network can be a profinet or hard network. In that basis, the instrument is called as profinet, profibus devices or hard devices. So, uh, the roles and responsibilities of a instrumentation, process instrumentation or technician is the instrumentation engineers find employment in industry which improve efficiency, stability, safety of the automated process. The various roles after this course is first is instrumentation engineer. It can be a, it can be a, he or she can be automation engineer. He or she can be a control engineer, control system technologist, instrument mechanic, process analyzer or the main specific uh, uh, role is instrumentation technologist or technician. The industrial sectors include what are the public private firms, R&D organization, steel plants, cement manufacturing companies, 
thermal power plants, chemical companies, and similar industries. Above from the uh, apart from the above instrument uh, instrumentation engineers, they can also find employment in the companies that usually utilizes this specialized instrument. These instruments are called as the smart instrument or smart transmitters. The ind industries which are using this type of smart in, uh, instruments, they need uh, some uh, way of uh, they need some way of operations. They need uh, calibration. And uh, for that, the specific engineers are required. These are the industries which are uh, using process instrumentation or automation. Most is using the oil, oil and gas industry is using this power plant, steel plant, paper industry, food processing industry, and automobile industry. After completion of the course, what is the outcome? The participant will know about the importance of process instrumentation in industry, about process variables, and the various instruments used to sense, measure, transmit, and control these variables. Here, the completion after this, we uh, a student or a participant or a technician can know the process or automation with Cymatic PCA7. Industrial networking also. The industrial networking uh, over the bus systems with Cymatic Net, it uh, carried, this is possible by Profinet, Profibus, IO Link, Heart Links. These are the various links which are generally used in the industry. The training also has content on programming languages, operator control, and monitoring. Mm -hmm. Drive technology, industrial communications, and safety technology. Student will be demonstrated knowledge of commonly used process measurement devices, control methods and strategies, and the proper selection, identification, design, installation, and operation of the instrument. After successful completion of this course, user will be able to handle the process automation design of DCS architecture. Generally, DCS is uh, used to control uh, the uh, factory by sitting in a remote location, we can control the various parameters of any type of industry. It can be a oil refinery industry, it can be a food processing industry, any type of industry. So various factors are uh, daily in day to day, they are getting uh, lesser or uh, more. So in that, uh, we have to make the stable condition always in the industry in order to stop the hazards. So this is the instrumentation technician uh, role, sitting in a remote location, how we can control any type of parameters in an industry. This is a site view only, here the controller can be there and the field instruments which are there, which are uh, connected in the industry pipelines. From there, we can take the data, the smart transmitters will give the data through the network topologies as Profinet or Heart and it is received by the controller and the controller can know how much it is uh, giving the accurate value or it is going beyond the value so that I, we have to stop the process in mid by the controller. This is a test case, a uh, general case where this is a tank, we can take it is a tank and the tank is filling up with a liquid. Here we can, two things are there. The label is increasing. We can see the label from 0 to 200 inch. There is a pressure tra transmitter to check how much pressure is uh, getting on when the uh, label of the liquid is getting more and more in a tank. So this value, the pressure is a physical parameter or it is a non-electrical quantity that should be when goes to a controller, it can be converted to an electrical quantity. So that is also in the, uh, the participant will know. So the conversion is done by the transducer, the non-electrical quantity converted to the electrical quantity in form of current. So this label, we are measuring two types of variable. One is a label parameter and there is a pressure parameter, which gives the output in range of 4 to 20 milliampers. That is taken by the controller and uh, in that way, the process is accomplished. So generally, these are the equipments and softwares which are provided 
by the Siemens COE and LTI. So this is the CPATIC PCS7. This is the controller. This one is the field instruments with the junction for bus, bus box, which gives the various uh, field bus signals. And uh, we are using the thematic manager step 7 version 9 for the analysis. This is the software and this one is the software for PCS for the controller. In this thematic PCS 7, there is a hierarchy of uh, maintaining a engineering maintenance station, operator, operation station. The field instruments are connected by the field bus. Then we are having the standard safety input output, automation system. Then it goes to through a bus. It is providing, it is, uh, go, the um, data are passing through our rules called as plant bus, then terminal bus. And uh, this total is controlled over by a engineering station or maintenance station. So this is the whole scenario of a technician um, process instrumentation automation course. Okay. So this is the total uh, scenario about the uh, PI course and after this completion a person or a participant can be able to uh, apply for any job roles which are provided in this. I have shown that.